Hello, this is Akiko Sudano at StampinInTheMeadows.com in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And thank you so much for joining me today. I am uh, glad to be back after being away for, okay, here we go. After being away for such a long time, I've, uh, I'm, uh, I've been traveling. And so um, I'm back, and I'm glad to be uh, back with you doing a video. And I am doing, um, I'm here today to share with you one of the new suites in the new mini catalog. And um, it, it consists of the Wildcat stamp set. And this is actually a bundle. It's got the, it's a set of photopolymer stamps. It's got, um, uh, it's a two set stamping thing. So you can make um, different tigers or um, leopards and it's got coordinating stripes that you can have with it or leopard spots. It's got different stamps for, um, uh, for some uh, uh, plants that you can have in your, um, in your little, uh, Vin, uh, in your little scenes for your cards and then it's got some really really cute coordinating uh sentiments that go well with it hi Lee ting thank you so much for joining me and then also this has got the um the dies that coordinate with it so um this is it's got some dies that will stamp they'll cut out the stamped images and then also some um additional dies that will cut out the uh various plants that um you can also have with it now, also in this um, in this uh, suite of products is this beautiful embossing folder with um, with um, the leopard uh, spots on it. I didn't use this, but this is going to be so cute, and I think this is something that um, we, that will also be very fun to use today. And then also, it's got a set of a wonderful set of designer series paper. Now I've cut these down to six by six, but this comes in a uh, twelve by twelve designer series paper, and you can see the tigers. And some of these um, images will be cut out with um, the coordinating dies as well. And you can see it's got uh, the green leopard spots. This is a beautiful, um, beautiful uh, floral pattern in the paper, and. Then then some uh, tiger uh, tiger stripes, and that's a fun one. And then the leopards, and um, these are off awesome, and they're just uh, so cute. They remind me of the um, the Art Deco uh, picture with all the ladies with their leopards, and then more leopard stripes, and then this one. I think that this um, uh, this paper. Hello, Karen. Thank you so thank you so much for joining me. I I missed being back, so forgive me about being um a little bit rusty with things today. But this paper, I think, would go very very well with any tropical um scenes that you have as well. Um, it's got the uh, leaves with the big uh, uh big cut cutouts in it as well. And then this is uh, a pretty. This is uh, the same as uh, one of the uh, one of the stamps that are in there. And this is the one that I'm using for today's card with all the different leopards. I mean with the different tigers and the uh, different uh, background uh, plants. And this is just some plants. And then actually this plant and then this set of three leaves. There are um, stamps and there are dies that cut those out. So you can um, do those in uh, either use this, uh, just cut them out of this uh, paper, or, and then any of these other leaves would be, um, these other plants would be great also if you wanted to try to fussy cut them and put those as backgrounds. But I think this is another um, paper that would go well with a tr with any tropical sets that you have. And then of course there's the um, this paper with the uh, the primitive prints, and that would be great also with the uh, with the golden leopards. And isn't that neat? So there, this is I love this paper, and um, this is a, a a great new suite in the new catalog. So in the new mini catalog that uh, just came out. So one of the things I've already gone ahead and I've uh, stamped. Um, and uh, cut out some things that I'm going to be using in today's card. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these things together, and I'll explain um, the stamped and uh, pieces as I uh, go. So first thing that I've done is I've taken one of these, uh, a strip of one of these, uh, uh, these uh, primitive. Uh, 
uh, pattern uh, papers and I'm gonna I cut a, a strip of that and I'm gonna just glue this to my uh, main uh, background um, with all the little tiny tigers here and I'll just want to do this straight right about right here I think that looks that looks good I'm gonna put that on press that down and then I cut a um, used the uh, new soft um, succulent um, uh, in color and I cut a circle with my layering circles dies and I embossed it with um, this greenery embossing folder and it's this one right here this is just a, a a plain regular embossing folder but i wanted to get some texture to the background get uh some plants and stuff so i uh, went ahead and i did that and i'm gonna uh go ahead and adhere this to my card front as well just with uh, some liquid glue swoosh that around and then put this down and i'm gonna adhere this about right here let's see here and I have I've got a sample tiger that I've made just so that I can kind of position things over here I want to make sure that I've got room for my greeting here yet yeah, as well okay so let me um, go back here and so I cut two of these and what I did was I took the um, the plant stamp and I used the Evening Evergreen, the new in color Evening Evergreen um, stamp set, stamp ink. And I stamped this with um, the Evening Evergreen. And there's a coordinating die and I cut it out with, with the die. And so I cut two of these and I'm gonna put these in the back of my tiger and I'm gonna adhere these to my card with just some glue dots and let's see I think I put one right here because I want to put the label um, over here too and we'll extend this off because it's gonna the bottom of that's gonna be covered by the label and then put another one up here And let let these guys go off the um, the paper as well and then what I did was I stamped it, it this really came out really dark I I, I don't know I I, I like I re what my new favorite in color I really like the uh, Fresh Freesia, I seem to be using that a lot. And I really like the Pale Papaya as well. But um, one of the things about this Evening Evergreen is that to me, this is a real true hunter green. And I can remember years ago, I was like looking for some hunter green cardstock and I couldn't find any. But this is this this would fit the bill. And um, that's um, that's a, 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 another good color, I think. Um, it's it's different from the mossy meadow and it's a it's a nice color uh this this little piece here i used i stamped the um the hello in the evening evergreen and i stamped it on cajun craze cardstock and i cut it out with the um the banner die from the tasteful uh labels die and I, you can see that i cut it out sort of on the uh, far right side so that um, I could put the, the tiger and, and have the label coming out of behind the tiger. So I'll go ahead and, and adhere this one as well to uh, my uh, card front. And I'm building up this panel and I'm gonna put this label kind of up here. Actually, I think it can go a little further over, about right here. And just wanna make sure it's kind of straight that it doesn't look really stupid now i'm going to stamp i'm going to stamp another one of these but i just want to see how this is going to be played that looks good that's about how it's going to be placed so i've got these um these pieces down on my basic panel and then i'm going to put this on an evening evergreen mat with um and i'm just going to put this on with some liquid glue so and this is you can see that pretty um the uh, pretty uh, 
greenery paper underneath it, the tropical plants or the jungle plants. So put that on and then This is the thing I like about the liquid glue is that it allows me time to move it and to make sure that I, I, I'm kind of, I'm better about centering things. It's not always, not always perfect, but it is much better than it would have been with, uh, if I had just uh, used snail or something else that didn't give me the time to um, play around with it. Then another product that we have with uh, the in, uh, with the new catalog is the set of Baker's Twine, and this is called the um, the, uh, the 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 Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And you've got these are um, these are not multicolored; they're all the solid colored Baker's Twine. And you've got uh, the white. And this is very vanilla. The white's always, um, I think white's always a, a good color. And this is the gray granite. And then I think this is um, crumb cake and then black. But And since my tiger's gonna have black stripes, I decided to use that. But I'm gonna take this and I'm going to wrap this around. And uh, I've got two of them. And I'm gonna make, just tie a little knot so that I have something underneath my hello here and cut these off right there and bring it around and then just tie a knot on the end here so that I've got some kind of ribbony thing and I'm going to do a knot and not a bow. So this is a, a, a just a hello card, but I think that um, the, the jungle theme would be very, very good with masculine cards. Um, and I just think of it as a, as a, not so much of a, today's card is not so much a masculine card, but just a, a hello card. And I want to put something in that um, you are fierce, sentiment in there because I think this would be something that would be great for very very strong women because I think that um I think women are very strong so it's um I I, I think I love I love to give uh something to uh, a strong woman that says you are strong and fierce and um just uh inspires confidence. Okay, so this is, I'm going to wait until after I get everything else um, put on before I cut those off, but I think I can go ahead and put this on my card base. So I'm going to put this on with dimensionals, and I am putting this on uh, uh, a crushed curry card base. I think crushed curry is um, the yellow that's in uh, the, uh, in the, in the designer series paper. Put my dimensionals on. And then I'll pull the covers off and then we can hopefully get it so that it's not upside down. I um I I love I love this um this um this theme, the jungle theme with the jungle animals and stuff too. Okay, so this is this is a top folding card base. So I've got this here and I'm gonna just Try to get this straight. There. Okay. So this is almost this is almost going to be done here. Now let's go ahead and work on the tiger. So I've got um, I've got 
a little uh, piece of basic white paper here. And I've been practicing my tigers. Um, I showed you the little one that I cut out, but you can see I, I decided to stamp my tiger in um, pumpkin pie and uh, memento tuxedo black ink. And I tried a lot of different times and practicing to see how, um, how easy it was to line up since it's a multi-step stamping thing. And for this tiger, I found that the easiest thing to do was to stamp this set of stripes first in uh, tuxedo black and then stamp the uh, body in pumpkin pie and then finish it off by stamping the head. Now, I also practiced with the um, the walking tiger, and for this guy, um, and you can tell that I inked up my ink pad um, in between the times here, because both of these are um, pumpkin pie inks. But um, for this tiger, what I found is that it's e easier to stamp the... Um, stamp the body first and then stamp the um, the stripes because these um, these two stripes right here these three they're they, they've got a flat um, flat edge so you can just line those up with the um, edge of the um, of the stamp body and then um, stamp the um, stamp the head so it's when you get a, a two-step stamping set up like this it it, it, it I think that uh, my recommendation is practice ahead of time so that you can get uh, better about lining things up and some things some of the stamp sets are really um, forgiving in terms of not um, not if I mean, not mattering when you don't get things lined up really well but this is not one of them this is um this is one that i think if you are careful about lining things up it it ends up being much 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 better you you'll be much more happy with the results so i'm going to open this pad up here now with this stripe the um it's got um you can see it better when it's inked up like this so for the sitting tiger this is where its legs are going to be for the um standing for the walking tiger this is where its head's going to be as opposed to up here so um i'm going to do this uh, like i'm going to ink this up a little bit more make sure it's nice and juicy and i'll put it right here and then And then that'll be good. So then I'll be able to line up my, and you can see this is with the um, the uh, blank pad, but you'll be able to see through with the ink and stuff. Hopefully that's coming through here. Yeah, you can see how that that shines up. So the the um one of the things this is also a very um this is uh there's a lot of surface on this and so i um uh, and it's a photopolymer stamp set and um that's one of the things that i really like about um the stampin up inks is that you really have a um a good uh you can get a uh, good coverage on uh the solid uh stamp the solid images Okay, so this is um, a little bit off, but I think it's going to still be okay. It's a little bit hard to see with the, the camera right in there, but um, put that down and boom. That looks pretty nice, I think. Um, I think some of these, some of these um, stripes down here are a little bit, but I think that works okay. And... Um, and, and then this one's a little bit um, sticking out, but I think it'll be okay. Now, one of the things also is that I, I don't know, when I look at this, this head, it um, really kind of confuses me. So I ink it up and then I kind of move it around a little bit and then I can see the eyes and I can see the nose. Now, when I go to line this up, is to stamp the head what I try to do is I try to line up the nose with this little section right here and then the ear right up in here and then make sure that this ear also kind of lines up and then I'm I, and then I'm happy with it and so let me see if I can do this without um 
let's see how this comes out. And then some, and then the little chin of the, uh, the little chin ends up lining right up here. So the best thing is try to get the nose and the ear, and then I think you'll be okay. I think that looks okay. Well, I think we're good. Hi, Chi. Thank you so much for joining me. Boom. Ah, it's a little bit crooked, but I think it's okay. But that, um, so that's my tiger. And then I've got the coordinating die. And I'll cover up this ink. And we'll, I'll go cut that out with the, um, with the die cutting machine. And it's this is the die for cutting out the 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 cat, and I am gonna line this up, and I'm gonna stick my post-it notes on here, and I'll take it over to my die cutting machine. All righty, and I will be right back after I get this um, this tiger cut out. Hi, Chris. Hi, Debbie. Thank you so much for joining me today. So here we go. Isn't that fun? I think it, it, it really comes out nicely. I'm, I, I'm really, really pleased with um, this stamp set, and I think that um, it's, it's a fun one, and, uh, and, and everything, I think everything is just really, really good about it. So I've got this right here, and I'm going to take the, the um, tiger, and I'm going to pop this on with dimensionals. Where do my dimensionals go? I had them right here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Well, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to just take my half dimensional, stick that on the back. Now this, um, there's this um, tiger die will also cut out some of the tigers in the, um, in the designer series paper. So if uh, you don't feel up to um, stamping the, uh, the animals, then just cut it out of the designer series paper. And that'll work too. Let's see here. Okay. Now get my little tweezer and just make sure that he's straight. So I'll put him right here. Something like this. Okay. Uh, like that. Okay. Now, right now, there aren't any um, any wooden elements, but I think that if there were wooden elements, that would be so perfect with uh, with uh, to use with uh, this card, or and and with anything that you uh, choose to do with this suite. And then just there we go. Just kind of a a primitive sort of look. So that's my card front. Now. For the inside, we're going to um, do some more stamping. And um, I've got a basic white panel here. And I've got a, a little strip of uh, the same designer series paper, and I'll put that on the bottom. So let's see here. Let's, let's get some stamping done first. First, I want to take this um, plant that we, we did, and I'm going and, and to stamp that one in Evening Evergreen. Put 
this in the corner here. Right here. That is just so nice. And then I'm going to take that. Um, this is just a simple hello card, but I want to um, give this to a a woman, and so I um, who's very very strong and and um, overcome just a lot of different um, challenges. So I want to say you are fierce, and I'll put this in the bottom corner next to the plant here. Hopefully, I'll get this straight. Um, in a Cajun craze. There. So there's plenty of room to write up here. And then I want to take, um, let me see. One, this, is, uh, this is the Cajun craze. I want to take that vine stamp. This is the one that had uh, the, um, the designer series paper. I'm going to move my twines off to the side. And I'm going to um, stamp a green vine hanging from the top. And then I'm going to get my chamois and wipe this off. Where did we go? Here we are. And uh, my chamois has been a lot, getting a lot of use. Wipe that off and then stamp it in Cajun Craze. Okay. And then do another one in crushed curry. Clean this off first. Make this just a little, oh, that's, I don't want it to be the same length. And then clean this off one last time and do one in the soft succulent. That's crushed curry. Yep, yeah, good. Make this a little short one. And then I think down here, kind of off the edge, make another. It just doesn't look that dark. Make another one down there. There we go. So that's uh, that's going to be the inside of the card. And let's go ahead and stick this little strip of uh, designer series paper on the bottom. There. Trim the edge. Then we'll um, adhere it to uh, another uh, evening evergreen mat. And I'm going to use Stamp and Seal for this. It's always more of a risk when I uh, use uh, Stamp and Seal for getting my um, edges straighter. But I feel like um, as I'm writing, I can feel the uh, the liquid glue, so I like to use Stampin' Seal for um, 
the insides of my cart. This is, see if I can squeeze this over a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And then put this on the inside. my card and I will have all the measurements um, in my blog tomorrow um, so um, I'm just always bad about this I love that uh, that uh, green against the crushed curry. Just really um, allows the the white to pop. So that's my card for today. I um, hope you like this, and I hope that you consider um, these uh, tigers and um, the jungle theme. And um, and I hope that uh, and thank you very much for being joining me after such a long absence. And one one thing I wanted to let you guys know is that next weekend I'm going to be going on Saturday at one o'clock instead of Sunday because I've got an event on Sunday. So I'll be going on Saturday. So I hope you like the card. I hope that you consider getting the Wildcats bundle and um, and. Um, and hello to all you strong, fierce women out there. Have a great week, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.